it brings the best the world has to offer in match play competition. 64 players, all vying to take down the world's number one, Tiger Woods. Woods has won 15 World Golf Championships events, but his quest for a third match play title was challenged from the opening bell. He was also in pursuit of his fourth straight win and 63rd of his career. It's the quest for the 2008 Accenture Match Play Championship. Be the right club today. Yes! What do you think about that? Go in. Oh! 59. The best final round ever. <laughs> Welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Classic, the 2008 WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. Deep in the heart of the Arizona desert lies a prize, a prize coveted by the world's best. 64 in all, they compete head-to-head -head in golf's oldest format until only one is left standing. Match play challenges you on every hole. It dares you to push yourself to the limits. It's go for broke or go home. Players for this match are from the United States, Tiger Woods. And this one is headed right, well right. Wow. In his very first swing, the world's number one was out of bounds and out of the hole. J.B. Holmes was one up. We go over to eight. Defending champion Henrik Stinson for birdie, playing Robert Allenby. Wow. Slam that in. Picking up right where he left off in 2007. Mm. Stinson four up now. Over at the short par four seventh, and this is a wonderful hole, just 314 yards. Luke Donald's second shot right in front of the green. Just 38 yards to the hole. Beautiful little pitch and run down the slope. And right into the hole for an eagle two. And Luke Donald would go on to win the hole against Nick Doherty to go two up. Proving that no man is invincible in match play, J.B. Holmes made an early statement against Tiger Woods. After winning the first, he had this putt at three to go two up. Oh, and he's rolling wow. it beautifully. He sure is. In fact, several of the tournament's top seeds were facing uphill battles. Ooh. A lot of moving there. So in just his second appearance in this tournament, Bradley Dredge moves on to round two, dismisses Rory Sabatini. Hampling wins the match two and one and moves on. Justin Rose, as you see, a number two seed in his bracket, goes home. In oh. the 12th. Yeah, this just earlier. Ernie Els, birdie opportunity. Oh, oh boy. boy. Just. That was like the umpire signals are wide. Jonathan Bird has this putt for a birdie to win the hole, goes six up with six to play. So, unbelievable. And at the 10th, Justin Leonard's second shot to the par five, now playing he, against former match play winner Jeff Ogilvy. He's hit some great three woods this year, so let's have a look at this fella. Oh, yeah. Leonard would make that for Eagle to take a two up lead over Ogilvy. In 2007, Ogilvy was a finalist to this man, defending champion Hendrik Stinson. But after a torrid start, Stinson's three-shot lead against Robert Allenby began to unravel. Stinson lost two of the next three holes to hold a one-up lead going to the 18th. Robert Allenby under the gun here, Billy Ray. Well, coming up that ridge, a number of options to Ooh, choose needs there. Needs to hold it. Oh, what an effort. Uh, what a beautiful shot there. <laughs> the 13th ranked player in the world would hang on to survive another day. Stinson, one up over Robert Allenby. What a finish on that match. Yeah, limping home, but getting it done. Stinson defeated Allenby one up to move on to the second round. Over to the 17th. Zach Johnson's third shot. was just about perfect. But despite that, uh, Zach Johnson finds himself two down with two holes to play. Justin Leonard on the tee here at the par three, 175 yards today. 
This is six iron. He is two up over the man who was the runner up in this championship last year, Jeff Ogilvie. Oh! Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Oh. So take that, Jeff Ogilvie. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods continued to struggle in his match with J.B. Holmes. Another wayward drive, and Woods was three down with five holes to play. Woods wasn't the only top seed being challenged. 64th seed Pat Perez was giving Phil Mickelson everything he had. We'll return with the conclusion of opening round matches on PGA Tour Classic. You are watching the 2008 WGC Accenture Match Play Championship on PGA Tour Classic. Tiger Woods is in danger of an opening round exit. Three down to the number 65 seed, J.B. Holmes, through 13 holes. He's got this birdie putt at 14 to win the hole and hopefully right the ship. to be a must-make situation. Yeah. He does it. We knew that was happening. So now, as I said, a little bit of scare factor. Two, can easily get one more out of the next two holes, and then it's all down to nerves. All right, over at 14. While that was happening, Perez had this long one for birdie. Oh, fantastic. Never oh. a doubt. Oh. Okay, advantage Perez. And look at the reaction here. Ahead to the 15th. And now Tiger Woods with two putts to win this hole, to pick off back-to-back -back holes. Got to be a nervous time for J.B. Holmes right now. Yeah, I would exactly. Think, very, very, very. I mean, that was the... Just the one, we say, the one thing he couldn't do, just, just lag it down in a four-foot circle, at least to make Tiger have a go, just to show off. Oh. Woods, one down. Then at 16, Woods had another birdie chance to square the match. All right, and Nick, a good look at uh, the line. Yeah, what's that about? A uh, couple of cups right. This from just under 22 feet, slightly back uphill. <laughs> How many times have we seen it in the past? Remember all those U.S. amateurs always down, always able to come back. Back at 15. Perez, remember the putt he made on the last hole from long range? Well, he's feeling it. Hello. Giving so. Phil something to think about now. The 17th hole, Tiger to play his second shot at the par five first, Mark. He's got 282 yards, Gary, up the hill, but downwind. And I like the lie for this shot. It's it's sitting nicely. They'll get me a little grass between the club head and the ball, but it should come out flying. What's he got, Mark? Three or five wood? I think it's the three. Get in the hole! Good call. Boy, this is good looking. <laughs> that should chase because it's coming out of the rough. There we go. So Tiger safely aboard at the 601 yard par five. Ahead at 17, the 51st seed, Justin Leonard eliminated the 06 match play champion and last year's runner up, Jeff Ogilvy, two and one. 16th hole, par three, Phil Mickelson, birdie putt. Just over 35 feet. Oh! oh back <laughs> well, to you, Pat. That's right. Oh. Back to 17. Tiger for Eagle. To take his first lead of the match if it were to go in. Got a chance. Got a chance. Oh, my goodness. How does he hit him right in the middle, Gary? Oh, 
What I don't understand, Nick, is how you can turn your game around so quickly. It's just, they, you know? they, they love the, the, the intensity. You know, they love this, putting themselves under pressure. It all turned around after he gave the bag a good whacking on 13. That's exactly right. It was like he just kind of let it all out. Vented his frustrations on the bag and then... This is just perfect. Right in the center. Pure Tiger. One down. Holmes second at 18. It's been a great ride, Mark, for J.B. Holmes. They've never played together, Tiger and J.B., in official competition. And he said he was going to take the opportunity to learn from Tiger, but in the process has had a chance to take him down here in round one. Ooh, yeah, beautifully done. Absolutely spot on, old chap. Not bad for a first timer, huh, Nick? <laughs> Five under over the last four holes, Tiger went from three down to one up. With Holmes in tight for birdie, Tiger has a tricky up and down to save par. And then he'll take that. Should be conceded by JB Holmes. That would be a four for Tiger, and JB has to make this putt to extend the match. Now Stricker. At the second hole, this to win the match against Daniel Chopra. Well, pretty straight here. Chopra not in the hole yet, but it doesn't matter as Steve Stricker comes through and wins a, quite a battle. Daniel Chopra never had the lead and Steve Stricker was never more than one up the entire match. He wins in 20 holes. Back at 18, Holmes to win the hole and extend the match. It's a bit of a twitch. Wasn't a stroke at all. Tiger Woods notches another incredible comeback in his match play history and moves on to round two, defeating J.B. Holmes one up. It was not pretty. I was just uh, hoping I could just hang in the match and turn around somehow, and every time I get some kind of momentum on my side, I go ahead and mess up. I, I gave him three holes with bogeys, and you just can't afford to do that in match play, and uh, I was, you know, obviously very lucky to get uh, get through this round. Oh, you're playing the best player in the world. You can't ever, you know, I was, you know, I got three up with four or five to play and I was like, well, you know, let's just don't do anything stupid here and make sure, you know, make him make birdies and, uh, you know, make him beat you if he's going to do it. And he did, you know, he, he started making tons of putts and that's just, you know, not much you can do. What do you played the last, you know, five or six under in the last four or five holes? I mean, what do you do? The top two seeds both survived challenging matches one up. But the real story on day one was the number of top seeds who were sent packing. We'll return with second round action on PGA Tour Classic. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic, the 2008 Accenture Match Play Championship. Day two, all peaceful in the Arizona desert, but that would soon change as second round action began. Facing Aaron Oberholzer, Tiger Woods got off to a better start than in his opening round match. Tiger's second at six. And he's kept the flight of this down. Good looking shot here. Kind of close like that. You are kidding. Wow. Oh my goodness. To the second. Phil Mickelson from a good 50 feet here at number two. Stuart Appleby has already missed his birdie attempt. Mickelson won the first hole with a birdie. And how about two in a row for Mickelson? What a putt and what a start. Phil Mickelson, two up on Stuart Appleby. Ahead to the 16th, number five seed Adam Scott to have the hole with Woody Austin. Scott has been on top pretty much all day, Billy Ray. Uh, Woody, in fact, hadn't won a hole for nine holes until the 15th. That was a pull. At the par four 15th, Colin Montgomery for birdie. The familiar follow through. Oh, right in the corner door. That's three birdies in his last four holes. Yeah, it's right there for these boys. Oh, that was what he needed that. You see, Monty can do that. When he really gets pushed, has to make it happen. Well, he's getting pushed. Oh, Howell for birdie in the have. The horseshoe effect. And Padraig Harrington faces his second shot. This one goes in, he wins the hole. This man's definitely, if he can get into the winning position, he could go all the way this week. As we go back to five. Oh. 
Oh, an absolute Ooh. beauty. A little scooter. That was a like a little Vespa. You think it could happen, Nick? Nah, please, come on. Well, we've seen everything. <laughs> Just for a little four-footer for an eagle. Here it is. To win the hole. Bit of a dandy start. Birdie's one, 50-footer on two. Back to the Scott Austin match. Scott to maintain a one-up lead to the 18th. How about wow. this? Incredible. Well, we got another great entertaining day today. So Adam Scott pulls the putt back at 16 and pushes that one. Back to the 314 yard par four seventh. Stuart Appleby, two down versus Phil Mickelson. Drivable par four. And this one was absolutely blasted. Lands perfectly just short of the green. Bounds up onto the front edge, takes a slope as we have seen so many chip shots. And he would go on to win that hole. Let's go to 11. And Steve Stricker with a look at birdie this to win the hole over Hunter Mahan. Very tight match, all square. You talk about these dangerous players, Nick. He is one of them. Especially that stroke. Back in the fairway at 11, Tiger Woods, three up, hitting his second. Aaron Overholzer is already on the green, about 15 feet away from the pin. The 15 feet doesn't just, just doesn't hack it anymore. After having the 18th, miraculously, Woody Austin, who was two down with three to play with a chance to win the match. Now this first timer at the Accenture Match Play Championship moves on to round three. We'll go to 16. All right, and there's another one. So Tiger Woods moves into the third round. A three and two winner over Aaron Oberholzer. Back at the 18th, Steve Stricker's second shot. All square with Hunter Mahan. And the number one seed strikes a beauty. With Stricker's putt conceded, Mahan needed this birdie putt to extend the match. Oh, that's what youngsters are meant to do. He is tough. They both are. Stricker known as one of the best putters, especially from short range. Mahan proving his medal. Back to the Appleby Mickelson match. Well, this putt from just under eight feet. And uh, Roger, we have seen this man hole putt after putt today. Yeah, there's not a whole lot in this, I wouldn't think. Might move a little bit to his left, huh? Uh, it barely. I yeah, mean, if you keep I mean, the speed up, it's it. yeah, very straight putt if the speed is kept up. Yes, so Appleby, a two and one winner over the number two ranked player in the world. For the second day in a row, Stricker's match has gone extra holes. On the second playoff hole, Stricker takes down Mahan with authority. Well, it looks to be on a better line, but it's got a lot of speed. Oh, man. <laughs> so Stricker birdies 18. He birdies the first extra hole and the second extra hole to win the match in 20 holes. Another match that went overtime, Henrik Stenson needed 25 holes to dispose of Trevor Immelman. The defending champion barely moves on to the third round. In fact, all the matches on day two were close. Of the 16 matches, seven went to the 18th hole or beyond. More of the 2008 Accenture Match Play Championship when we return on PGA Tour Classic. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic, the 2008 WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. Everyone was flying high for the third day of match play competition as eight matches were underway in the third round. At the 635 yard par five fifth, Tiger Woods has a one up lead over Aaron Badley. It's from 145 yards and it is right at the flag, right at it. Yes, it is. What a shot. Let's go over to six and Henrik Stenson. His third shot. And guess what? That is no surprise. That's what his intention was. We'll go to the third and KJ Choi has a birdie putt to win the hole. Oh, 
He is now three up. And we'll go to the ninth. Woody Austin has another birdie putt to win a hole. To six, where Aaron Badley is in trouble. Wow. Oh, crunch. Now you got to be careful. You're allowed to take a, a honest stance if it means, uh, you know, things breaking and to get in there, but. Don't lose your balance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, blimey. Badly mm. was now two down. Not having much fun here. Ahead to the ninth, Angel Cabrera has a three up lead over Steve Stricker. 448 yards, you can see the boys have cut this down to just a little tickle. He's striking ah, it beautifully, Nick. He sure is. And back over to 11, the second shot of Woody Austin. On this par four, three up over Boo Weekly. Boy, he's just dialed in today. Back at the par three eighth. Badly for birdie to get within one. Wow. Hello, Aaron Baddeley. <clears throat> After that. looking a little shaky at the start, Nick right uh. back in it. Ahead to the 12th, Henrik Stinson for birdie to even his match with Jonathan Bird. And with putts like that, the defending champ keeps hanging in there. He went on to dismiss Bird one up. Others who have advanced to the quarterfinals include KJ Choi, Angel Cabrera, Stuart Sink, and Woody Austin. Aaron Badley is giving Tiger Woods another challenging match. At the 12th, with Tiger in trouble, Badley takes advantage to even the match. Land in the middle of the green and release. Oh, Aaron Badley has turned it up a notch and he is able to capitalize on the misfortune of Tiger Woods and that poor man in the gallery. Did walk away with a Woods glove, though. Back at the 11th, Rod Pampling trying to take one from VJ. This match all square. Chalk one up for Australia. Pampling the 15th seed. At the par 3 14th, Badly with the honors against Woods. And this is just a nine iron, Nick. As you do. And seriously dialed in. Not to be outdone, Tiger responds. This is a seven iron for Woods. Oh, wow, he's trying to play some little soft, cutty thing. And boy, does he do that well. I'm sure if Tiger went for less the club, it would have spun off the green. Tiger couldn't get that putt to drop. Bads with a chance to take a one-up lead. And he's done it. My goodness. Two holes later at the par 3 16th, Tiger turns the heat up a notch. It is turning. He's hit it. Oh, here it goes. What a shot. Oh. Oh. Here comes Tiger Woods. Can he make it up? This is from the blimp. Watch this for a beautiful ball follow. Turns over about now and look out. Woods squared the match with that birdie. After having the 17th hole, they came to the 18th all square. Badly with a putt to win the match. It's dying. Such a tricky corner of the green. Back at the 16th, Pampling is one up over Singh and has this putt to win the hole. Count it. That match is now dormy. On the first extra hole, Aaron Badley's second. Oh, be right, Bob. Be right. That's Australian for be right, be right. <laughs> Fantastic golf shot. 
And just like the last hole, after Tiger missed his opportunity, Badley with another chance at upsetting the number one seed. His chance just slips by. He was two down with two to play, but VJ Singhs won the last two holes to extend his match with Rod Pampling to extra holes. That's nice. I know. Oh, look at this. It went seven extra holes, in fact, before Singh won in 25 holes. Wow, yeah. After surviving two scares, Tiger now in the 20th hole with a chance to pounce. He took advantage. There it is. Tiger Woods once again. I swear, I think the hat came off before the ball reached the <laughs> hole. You know, I think I gave him two holes of bogeys and he did the same thing for me. But other than that, I think you had to, we buried every other hole, I think. I was pleased, you know, especially being two down after two and coming back and I felt like I could have won today. Only eight players remain. Who will take home the 2008 Accenture match play title? The desert is no place for the timid, where the laws of survival are simple. Stay alert, move steady, and you might get out alive. That's the creed of the champions who have conquered this do or die format. Never panic, and always handle the match play pressure like you expect to lift the trophy. So now 64 have dwindled to just eight. Quarter finalists who are one step closer to outlasting the entire field. And no one is more prepared to handle the elements than the man who always seems invincible, no matter where he is or who he plays. And there's the Walter Hagen Trophy that will be lifted by one of the eight remaining players, the one with seemingly a leg up on the rest of the competition continued to apply the pressure. Tigers third at the par five tenth. Tiger went one up over KJ Choi through ten. Henrik Stenson for birdie. So a big turnaround. Henrik was two down. Woody gave him two visiting the desert, and then that is good timing. If you want to kick your opponent below the belt, over to six. This is sink for birdie to win the hole. All square with Cabrera. And sink is one up once again. To 10. Woody Austin trying to have the hole, Billy Ray. Wow, that wouldn't even close, Nick. Came up and out of that putt. Back to the 12th. And the birdie putt for KJ Choi. He's got it way off the hole. That's got a lot of speed, too. Whoa. That was hammered. Those are two very loosely played shots in a row. This ball hadn't stopped yet, has it, Roger? Oh, it's still <laughs> trickling. It's got that false kind of edge now. Yeah. It's just carrying it on. Second shot of Vijay Singh. Justin Leonard is just short of the green in two on this par five. Well, we haven't seen anyone in there this week. Back to Tiger. And his birdie putt at 12. And the putt of Choi might have uh, changed his strategy a little bit here. Well, that'll take care of that. Tiger Woods moves now to two up over KJ Choi. Justin Leonard for birdie to win the hole at 10. Mr. Smooth. Back to 12. And Woody Austin second now from just uh, about 12 yards off the front of the green. Very straightforward little pitch up the hill. Oh, there you go. That's nicely judged. And I would imagine that birdie will be conceded. And Woody Austin may have stemmed the tide a little bit. Yep, there it is. So uh, Austin now two down. We'll go back to the 14th. Tiger with the two up advantage in this match. Today it's all Tiger. 
Ahead to 11. Now, VJ, as you've seen, can get some serious spin with this wedge. Yep. Stinson at 15. He has a two-up lead over Woody Austin. This could put him dormy. Three up with three to play. And that's why. <laughs> well, we could be looking at the defending champion facing the two-time champion, Tiger Woods, in the semifinal. Back to 11. Can VJ have the hole with Justin Leonard? So Leonard now three up over the Fijian, the three seed. Ahead to the 16th, KJ Choi with a look at birdie. He must make this to extend his match against Tiger. And that's the end of that. So Tiger Woods a winner, three and two over KJ Choi. Tiger will move on to the semis. After winning the 16th to go two down with two to play, Austin needs this at 17 to take his match to the 18th. There it is. Woody Austin will not give up. Dogged determination is how he uh, described himself the other day. Back at 16, Stewart Sink on the tee, nine iron in hand. Angel Cabrera has already played his tee shot some 17 feet away. Oh, look at this one. Ho -ho. That shot sealed Sink's victory. A three and two winner over Angel Cabrera. Back with Henrik Stinson's second shot at the 18th. 132 back up the hill, a little helping breeze. Just got to worry about the false front. Oh, that's a shot in the half. Yeah. With Stinson in tight for birdie, Austin needs to make this at 18 for any hope of taking it to extra holes. A disappointing effort, but Austin's valiant fight to stay alive ended. Stinson moves on to the semis. All square in his match with VJ Singh, Justin Leonard for the win. Oh, yes. Welcome to the semis. The 13 seed topples the three seed. So Justin Leonard joins Tiger Woods, Henrik Stinson, and Stuart Sink into the semifinals. And it's coming up next on PGA Tour Classic. In 2007, Jeff Ogilvy returned to the finals with a chance to defend his title against Sweden's Henrik Stenson. Ogilvy had a two-up lead with 10 holes to play before Stenson staged his miraculous comeback. Stenson would win three of the next five holes to take a lead he wouldn't relinquish. A two-in-one win gave Stenson his first PGA Tour victory. The quest for the 2008 Accenture Match Play Championship is down to four. The competition is heating up in the arid Arizona desert. The beauty of the gallery at Dove Mountain Course belies the danger that lurks as the semifinal matches unfold. In the first match, two-time champ Tiger Woods takes on defending champion Henrik Stenson. It's just really tough, and it looks like he's going right. I don't know. Oh, this is right of the hole. Oh, oh man. Oh. Wow. Oh. Cozies it in there. That's almost crazy good. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to make yourself aim there, and now it forces Tiger to be more aggressive. Never one to back down from a challenge, Woods takes his turn. It's a nine iron here for Tiger trying to hit a little cutter in there, and it's a good looking shot just left of the hole. Well, that's where you're supposed to hit it. To the seventh. Stewart sink on the tee, driver in hand. Just a little bit of breeze in the player's face right now, Gary. Well, how about this? Let's just carry it right into the center of the green. Stuart Sink has birdied this hole each of the four times he's played it. Back to eight. Woods for birdie. Remember, Stenson is tight there, and Tiger gives him something to think about as he now is going to try to have the hole. And back to seven. And Stuart Sink's eagle putt at the par four. Chance to win the hole, go three up. This one will move toward his right, toward the back of the green. Oh, was it firm enough? Yes. Oh, how about this start for Stewart Sink? Four birdies and an eagle in the first seven holes. Ahead eight. And Stenson looking for his second straight birdie, this to have the hole on Tiger and keep it all square. I'm sure this putt doesn't look as appealing to him as it did a couple minutes ago. Oh, oh well done. Got, got the hole. hole, but it's 
goes down. For Justin Leonard, he had an uphill battle early against Stuart Sink. Three down through seven. Sink continued to dominate that match. All right, birdie putt on the way for Sink, and it is over there at the eighth, and now takes a four-up lead. Crazy golf. That is seven under par for Stewart Sink. Back to 10, Tiger with a birdie putt. And this by no means a, a simple little putt. This is a downhill, and it's got a little break to the left in it. Not just a tap in, that's for sure. Tiger's got his lead back as they head to the 11th. And Leonard needs this or he will be five down. Well, actually, you see Sink's putt has not been given to him. There's still a mark over there, so that was a big putt by Justin. And now he gives it to him. So Sink remains four up at the turn. Big putt by Leonard. Stenson won the 11th to square his match with Tiger and then had this approach at the 13th. That's a good looking shot. Like there that. Is. There it is right there. Stenson went on to make that to take a one up advantage through 13. But that was short lived as Tiger won the next two holes to go one up through 15. Sink was having no problems with Justin Leonard. With three holes remaining, Stinson had a putt for birdie to again square the match. See if he can do it. Yes, indeed, Henrik Stinson, birdie two at the 16th. Match all square as they head to the par five, 17th. Back at 15, Leonard, four down, was faced with a must-make putt to keep his match alive. Yes, he moves it along to 16. Three up with three to play, Sink. Back to 17. And the birdie putt for Tiger Woods and a chance to take the one up lead to the 18th hole. Beautiful struck. How many times does he do it toward the end of a match when he needs it? Uncanny, amazing, Gary, the timing. 16. Stewart Sink with a nine iron. Leonard safely on the green, but not near the hole. Sink watching this one intently, and that's why. Beautiful shot. Back at the 18th, Woods with a one up lead, his second. It was a 338-yard drive by Shotlink. Well, this is going to land past the hole. We'll see how hard it spins. Here it comes. Only perfect for the situation. That's going to put pressure on Stenson to hold it out from there. Yeah, I think if it doesn't go in, he'll concede Sink's putt. Is it going to stay up? Nope. And there it is, Stuart Sink, a four and two winner over Justin Leonard, and he will move into the finals. It feels great just to get this far. I've never gotten this far yet before, and, and to be in the final, it's gonna be a blast. Back at 18, Stinson needs to hold this for any shot at extending his match with Tiger. That's gonna roll back off, I think. And we might just see the whole yeah. thing come to an end right here. Concession time. He doesn't like yes. that. Disappointing finish for Stenson. And Tiger Woods has a chance for his third Accenture Match Play Championship title. And he'll go against Stuart Sink for 36 holes tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Stewie's uh, obviously playing well. I mean, you know, he, he, he drives it great. And he's uh, one of the best putters out here. So uh, it'll be a, a good match. So the finals are set. Stuart Sink playing in his first Accenture match play finals versus the number one seed. Here in the Arizona desert, this match play trail has been full of obstacles. Yet for Tiger Woods, another World Golf Championship is in sight. 
In quest of his third Accenture Match Play Championship, he'll have to get past Stuart Sink. Sink, who hasn't won in more than 80 events, was brilliant on Saturday. But he'll need more of the same if he's to take down Tiger. In the finals, Tiger Woods took command early. Stuart Sink practically didn't know what hit him. Right from the first hole, Woods set the pace for the morning 18. Woods wins the hole in three, it's one up. From there, Woods put his foot on the gas. Three up through seven holes. Spectacular looking shot up the right club. And when the dust settled in the desert, Tiger had a five up lead. See if Tiger aims, he's looking like 10 feet left of the hole. In the afternoon, it was more of the same. Well, it was hoisted way up in the air. And Good shot. Being back to within just a couple, two and a half feet or so. All right, sink outside of Tiger for birdie, already five down. Yes. Finally sink. Oh, looked like he was finally going to make one. Tiger to go six up. Good look at stroke. Speed. In, in the hole. He continued to wield a hot stick. All right, for Tiger's fourth birdie of the afternoon. And the lead is now seven up. Tiger has won a total of nine holes on Stewart Sink. The Sink's just two victories. And Tiger, and speaking of his dad even further, his dad told him match play is a series of 18 battles. That's how he described it to Tiger growing up. And this oh, guy's a good looking shot. All over the pen and all over that philosophy. He just seems to think his way around match play better than most, Johnny. And you talked about it off the top of the show how. Match play just seems to get his attention more than stroke play at times. Well, he wants to beat you in every battle, and this shot here was just a classic. It was now a mere formality. Tiger was going to win his third match play title, his 16th World Golf Championships event, and his 63rd career victory, topping Arnold Palmer on the all-time wins list. Woods now at 11 with an eight-up lead. Yeah, this looks like it might need to get down a little bit. See if we spin it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I guess. How about 51st birdie in 117 holes? <laughs> eight down with eight to play. Sink for birdie to extend the match. There it is. Make it another World Golf Championship win for Tiger Woods. Four PGA Tour events in a row, six overall worldwide, and eight out of the last nine. The streak continues in the desert in the most convincing championship match win in this event's history, eight and seven. Today was a lot of fun, actually. I had a bunch of birdies. I put a bunch of heat on Stu today. I got off to a quick start. Never really let him get back in the match. They told me today I played 107 holes this week. I could have used to played 16 and been home. That's the fickleness of match play. And if I didn't make a run, you know, against JB, I wouldn't be here. Congratulations, Tiger Woods, the 2008 WGC Accenture Match Play Champion, a PGA Tour Classic. <laughs>